Uh, nothing like that, Sergeant, unfortunately. Yeah, nothing from Machine Games, nothing from it. Um, a lot of people thought we would see the um, Indiana Jones game. No Fable, no Everwild. They've acquired Reggie, Reggie fils -Aimé. They acquired Reggie fils -Aimé's likeness. It's hard to express how excited all of us at Bethesda are it to be here works. with you today. We're so grateful you're spending the time and we know you've waited a long time to finally see Starfield. Uh, it's easily our most ambitious game ever. Like our previous games, it's an epic role-playing game where you get to be who you want and go where you want. But this time, you'll be exploring space. So let's jump right in. This is early in the game as you arrive on the mysterious moon of Crete. Todd Howard. Uh, probably no links right now, Sergeant. Seventeen times the detail. We're seeing gameplay. We're seeing the HUD. According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. Good. Um, looks a little choppy. Frame rate's not great right now, but I mean, it's still early. They delayed it into next year, so. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely Hermit. It's very obvious. It's definitely highly curated. Looks like it's running at like in the twenties in the frame rate. It would appear that pirates of the Crimson Fleet are using the facility. <laughs> yeah, so far it does kind of just it seems like yeah, fallout in space. Which is what most people assumed. Yeah, dude, this frame rate is pretty bad. Thank you. 
The bullet sponge mechanics? Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it looks interesting. It just... It doesn't look like it's solving my complaints about Bethesda games with, like... Just slightly janky looking. Yeah, look at that. I don't think that's just the stream. Because plenty of the other games have looked more fluid. After some initial encounters, you're invited to join Constellation, who, in the future the game is set in, are the last group of space explorers. To meet them, you'll head to the capital city of New Atlantis. This is kind of cool. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Do, do the character ocean. models look a little better? Because like, we're marginally? The biggest question of all. I'm not saying they look great, but they, that character model looked a little, These artifacts could little be better than like Fallout or. Looking for. As to what they are, what they're building, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Still nothing behind those eyes, though. <laughs> so, you found something? A new guy found it. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions. Like I've been playing Horizon. The recently and the character interactions scattered across the galaxy it's hard to go back to something that looks like this more, after we can playing horizon beautiful isn't it the man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him of course the settled systems is full of groups with other priorities that's the crimson fleet everybody get ready the fleet doesn't follow the rules Agree to work for UCC Step. Together, we take down these cutthroat pirates. We're not just here to shoot the bad guys. We're peacekeepers. I'm we definitely, I'm definitely not elitist. I just, collective. I compare the things I've when played with what I'm seeing, and that's all I'm doing. No one quits. <laughs> the only way out is death. The path ahead may be dangerous, but we are not stopping. Most Dusties don't even make it this far. Because whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity. So who will be asked? Forever. That gives you a look at the stories in Starfield. But ultimately, <laughs> it's not our story. It's the story you create by who you are and the choices you make. And that starts with character creation. It's our most flexible yet. You can customize all the elements of how you look. Snobby tofu emote. That would be funny, actually, like, like sticking his nose up at everything. Like, You'll pick a background no, that gives you three starting skills. <laughs> Says here you spend some time as a diplomat. Having a way with words might prove useful. There are optional traits, and these come with unique advantages and disadvantages. But it's not just in how you can look, but in how your character plays and develops. The skill system combines the best from our previous games, and you can unlock new skills as you level up, and then you yeah, rank Herman, that's those a good skills idea. up by using them and completing I need to write challenges. That down. And there's deep crafting systems, from running research projects with resources you find, to crafting weapon mods needed to survive. <laughs> I like and that too, Sergeant. You can build your own outposts. <laughs> These act as a home away from home for survival and resource generation. You can choose where and how to build each one, and you can hire characters you meet to Resident keep it up and remake, running. remake. But that's not all. 
You can even build your own spaceships. Yeah, mechanics wise and like the systems that they are implementing all seem you really cool. You can choose cool. crew members. And yes, you can completely customize the look and layout. There's loads of different modules, ship manufacturers, and more. I have to say, it's so cool. We just absolutely love this. It just works. It's not just how the ship looks, it's how it performs, from engines to shields to weapon systems, because yes, you can fly it. Thrusters boosted. So there's first and third person view, is that what they're trying to show us? Why do they keep switching back? <laughs> I still have faith. They're going to end it with Banjo. There's going to be a Banjo Easter egg in this trailer somewhere. of you to experience the game. Thanks again for being with us today, and thanks for all the support you've given us over the decades, especially on this game. It's been an incredible journey for us making it, but we know that's really only the beginning, for it's when all of you play it that the real journey It's when begins. all of you mod it and make and it a playable game. You may be wondering, it really begins. just how big is this game? All right, that's the last time. I so promise. we thought we'd take one last moment. I got to get my, I got to get it in. <clears throat> Let's take a look at one of our planets, Jemison. You can land in New Atlantis, but you can also land and explore anywhere on the planet. <clears throat> and it's not just this planet, it's all the planets in the system. From barren but resource heavy ice balls to Goldilocks planets with life. And not just this system, but over a hundred systems. Over 1,000 planets, all open for you to explore. Yeah, this is sounding we can't a lot. Wait to see <laughs> I, what you find. I mean, Bethesda is a big studio. So I, I don't think they're going to have the No Man's Sky problem of like over promising as much, but it does. It does sound like No Man's Sky. It's in the stars. Yeah, like I said. So all the systems and like ideas for the gameplay and base building, it all looks cool, but. That frame rate does not look good. I'm sorry to say. For like a AAA game made by a studio owned by Microsoft, that it was running at like 20 frames per second that entire time. Sky's the limit with this one. Coming 2023. So still no definitive date, but 2023. Nice, nice. Todd Howard burn. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Mano. Play it day one with Game Pass.